Hello, and we're back with even more incredible house test content. And from Maria Solo, we're now moving on to a game called Amok Runner. Any percent restricted house test? Take it away, my friend. All right, hello everyone. I'm back again. Thankfully, this time with a little bit longer game. As I said, it's called Amok Runner, and we're going to start the speed run in three, two, one, action. So. Anyone remember the Moist Critical Challenge for this game? Well, I do, because in the beginning of this year, I sat down to learn this game. I was a little bit fascinated. Everyone was on Christmas break. We really had nothing better to do. And we're like, okay, sure. It's nice winning the money, but I personally found like a very interesting exactly game here same. that I can also speedrun and show you today. Worst nightmares till morning. And we're going to play as this character. He is called Till Meyer, no, and we're going to start here on a little boat. I will go a little bit into the story, but for the most part, I'm going to be focusing on running this game. Haha, ah, aim up running this game very quickly. So the first thing that we have to do here is we're going to have a little chat with this stranger here. And I want you all to remember what my clothes are that we're in. We're having a coat on and we're having a nice little hat. Alright, remember that. This is important for like half an hour. feeling that you were a bit hesitant. Alright, so in the beginning, as again, they're just gonna chat a little bit, we're just gonna wait here, so good. You don't bother me. And if you're wondering, why does this guy sound so German? Because I'm German, and Tillmeyer is also spoken by a German voice actor who specifically has a German accent, so I feel like that's already enough connection for me to always play this game. And a German host. And a German host, let's go. so <laughs> hard. There we go. So we're skipping all the explanation of in here, and we're gonna go right back into the past, where we are now here in the doctor's office. We're gonna open a few documents, and we're gonna get ready to welcome our first patient here. It's also our only patient that we ever really see. A madam, a lady. A lady has arrived. A lady in this town. In this town. I love the voice acting of it. It's it, if you hear it too often, day, maybe you don't like it too much, but I think it has a little bit of a funny charm. We driving by the station so this is the lady here, a stranger to us, and she wants to talk to us, to Maya, the doctor here, because she wants an abortion. Now, this doctor here says, like, ah, I'm not going to do it. And we're also going to be very rude, because the very first skip is already coming up. We're waiting specifically here and aligning ourselves with the doorknob and our head at the corner, because we want to leave through the door with a precise timing so we can leave the room earlier than we usually need to be because we're going to be very rude with this lady and she's going to be like oh, never talk to me again if we manage it with the right timing where i need to wait now awesome we just skip through the door we're not actually caught in this room we can already walk down here the stairs you know quickly check out this car the lady usually runs away and we need to wait here for her line to end and then we can leave the room but as we skip this already i can move on slightly faster saving us a few seconds in this next bit, we're now chasing after the lady, which, I mean, normally would be way further ahead now, but we can already see her leaving, and she's going towards the train station, so let's follow her here on a little bike. And if you think, man, the stream is looking choppy, please do not reload the stream. That's normal, that's Amok Runner for you. I'm having an i7-10700K CPU, and I have a 2080 Ti from NVIDIA. And this game does... It does run, but it's, you know... <laughs> You can see the FPS number in the corner. It's not that great. Um, funny enough, we're playing currently on the latest patch. And the latest patch has also fixed one little skip that we can talk about when we get there. But it already has improved the performance quite significantly. Like, let me tell you, normally it would be like 20 FPS here, not 40. So I'm going to take the little time loss, not doing a skip and having it set a little bit better frame rate here. So, as we're going to see here, we're going to quickly move over to the train station. And there's also a few things that we need to do in order to follow the route here. So, I know marathons are in RTA time. I'm going to do a few things that we're going to do for the leaderboard here, just to keep it realistic. So, I'm going to reload the checkpoint here uh, as we go to the train station, because we don't want to get off the bike. Getting off the bike takes time. And every time we reload the game, we remove that from the total time at the end, because it's load remove time. So... It's actually faster for us, at least for the leaderboard timing, that we quickly wait out the checkpoint here and then already off the bike. Alright, and as this train is leaving, we're all wandering around and like, ah, man, who is this strange one? Maybe if I find a poster here. Oh, look at that, there's a poster of exactly that lady. She managed to flee the town just like all other times. 
So I'm going to stand here. We're going to turn around because I'm going to actually look at the poster. But I immediately want to walk in this direction again. So it's a small town. Let's wait. There we go. Check it out. And we're done. We're reading this so fast, dude, and all. <laughs> Just by looking at the poster, we already know the name. We know she's a wife of an English nobleman and that she has a lot of money. And also, our bike broke down. You see, just in here, so sadly, we cannot take the bike back. <laughs> There's so many fun glitches in this game. You can also glitch into the train station with the bike still working, but as soon as you look at the poster, the bike sadly breaks down. So, in the beginning of especially the speedrun challenge, we try to keep the bike going so we can do this a little faster, but to no way. Now, normally we would be walking down the street on the right here, but what I'm going to do is do the so-called cow skip, where we just walk through this little farm here. It's a little bit out of our way, but it's good for us, because actually if we were to walk down the little street, there would be a fight starting, which we cannot do, we just run away. So instead of running away and being constantly attacked, we choose the safer option, just go around the corner here. For some reason they just never thought about that, or put anything in a way so that we can do this. We just walk around. No fight for us here, we just walk straight to our own home. Because the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our car keys and investigate a little bit further. Now, about this category. I'm currently playing Any% percent Restricted. When I submitted this, Any% percent, any percent Restricted wasn't yet a full thing, but especially in the beginning, uh, when, we, oops, when we were starting to do these crazy launches across the map, which are fairly inconsistent, I want to say. I only tried for like one day and I got like maybe a little bump going. Uh, the actual heroes, uh, like Ouija, for example, the person who won the speedrun challenge, they they have been grinding every day for like so many hours, up to just 24 hours of room through, trying to launch yourself off into the air so you don't have to take these car rides here. Which, as you can see here, the performance currently, yeah, it's not that good. And that's because in this game here, there's so many NPCs walked around. Uh, hopefully, you don't kill any of these. And uh, all the game logic has to be updated currently. The funny thing is, the further we go outside of the map, like at the corners, we actually get better performance. Well, because there's not that much that we need to take care of. And so, understandable, if you want to be really, really fast in the any percent category, you want to use these uh, launches and zips. But for restricted, we said, no, let's not do that. So what we're going to see here today is basically just the game being played through as quickly as possible with like just small, uh, smaller skips as we've seen here in the beginning. One of the things that we're not skipping in here, for example, is this little puzzle. What is this puzzle for? Well, it's very simple here. We just have to put around a few boxes. Move this one over here. Go left and down because we gotta... The whole point of this is just to make a path open here. But as it is, of course, with these games, it's not just move around one box. We gotta do the whole puzzle thing here. I personally have to say I kind of like these puzzles, actually. If I have them in real life. I had, like, like very small, like, toys this size. They can move around with these tiles. In this video game here, they take just slightly too long. But that's fine. We got the time. In, in high contrast to the last speedrun that I did with Mary the Solid, we actually have some time in this game. So yeah, if there's any questions, of course, in chat, let me know about this. I'll try to happily answer them. And other than that, we just have to move two more boxes here to the side to move on in the game here. From this one over to the left. It down and then the last one we just have to move on. I assume we just can't stack them on top of each other. That'd be so easy. That would be very cool if we could do that, but sadly that's not possible. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Time to go back into the car. If he there we go. <laughs> it's a little bit hesitant sometimes. I'm just gonna turn around. And there we go. Yeah, I get stuck in the corner. This car is just tiny enough that it fits through here, but not really wide enough for us. I wish we had a little bit more space. In any case, once again, we're going to drive over here. We're going to open the checkpoint and we're going to quickly reload it. So we cannot, uh, we don't need to get out of our car. And also, we don't need to move in here because as we load into this checkpoint, we're already way further in the house here. Wonderful. Here comes the first puzzle where I'm definitely going to need help. We're going to look at this poster here and find the first two letters. It's FN. FN is the code for 1856. So, 1856. Oop, five, six, there we go. And with this combination, we're gonna get the bold cutter here. 
Move the ball, Carter. We can but <laughs> we can cut balls, hey. And we're gonna need that right now as we go into the basement here. Now, there's a volume warning coming up. This is gonna be a little bit loud. I hope it will be safe. Uh. These bats, always annoying. And there we go. So we want to get access to the building and thankfully with the ball cutter we can also open up this ladder here. And after this, there comes basically the best dialogue in the entire game. We're gonna listen to this. I know you are here. <laughs> All right, so we got to hide here. We're going to wait a little bit for the ladder to come down. Thankfully, uh, because we're playing on the easy difficulty, we can just wait in the corner here. Uh, on higher difficulties, you got to be careful. You got to walk around uh, like the table here. But on easy, thankfully, we can literally just wait in the corner here and these like bosses, they don't see us at all. I once did a practice run on normal difficulty and there it didn't work. And I was so confused. Like, Why does this not work? I was like, Ah, I guess I'm probably on the wrong difficulty. So if you want to speedrun this, always select easy. Not only is it easy, of course, it's also faster because of the little things like this here. Also, bosses have way less health and they die, of course, way quicker because of that. All right, so we're going to wait here. There's a second guy here. Look at him, that handsome fella. And as soon as he comes around the corner, we can move towards the ladder and start getting up here. There we go. Staying true to the Metal Gear Solid playstyle, just like hiding next to the enemy. Yeah, I, I guess that's probably why I like it. It's in some aspects quite familiar with the Metal Gear series. All right, I gotta sort out some pictures here, and for that, once again, I need some help. I'll just sort them around like this. Da, 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 da. Go. Uh, right, da, da. Left down, up right, looks good, and one more to the right. There, anyway, now that we solved the family picture puzzle, it's time for first weapon. And it's a gun, as you can see here. Fun fact about this game, this game has infinite ammo, but you can find ammo in the story in the city. For some reason, uh, we do not know why it exists or what it does, but I'm, I'm just going to take it. <laughs> We're going to quickly move. But if I could button with a little bit of a push for something? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh. We will be having a Worms World Party run very soon by the incredible Ruffle Breaks. And you can donate towards incentives. You can name the team and pick the voice pack, believe it or not. So make sure to get those donated, donations in so that you can influence the outcome of this incentive. Very exciting. There we go. Yeah, let's get that going. Wait a little bit. Yeah, normally these people die in free headshots. My aim today is not on point, so we're just gonna move on. It is what it is. <laughs> and speaking of moving on, back to the car we go, because we have to go to the next mansion here. Don't ask me what we found out in the story. I have no idea. We literally just invaded the house, have been hiding in the corner, moved around a few family pictures, got a gun, and now we're leaving. <laughs> That's it. So... Now we're back on the way here. Let's hope for good car and G. That's what I like to call it. When there is a car coming around the corner. Oh, ah! <laughs> nope. <laughs> Once again, car and G strikes us and we got hit, <laughs> causing us a little bit of time here. It's just on the random uh, cycle when these cars come around and every so often I get just hit by this. <laughs> all right, so we are in the south of the map right now. We're gonna make our way all the way to the north and here's gonna be a fun little trick that we can do. If we are fast, 3D objects like to break very slow. In fact, they break so slow that they actually slow us down. And what you've seen me do is I actually open the map. The map slows down the game time in the world and actually allows us to be slow enough so the physics of all these fences, and for example the mailbox, actually allow us to catch up. So we can break through them without losing momentum. And while of course we slow down a little bit opening the map, it's still worth it in the end that we uh, do not get stopped at all. This will be also very important later in a car chase. But we're not getting there too early yet. All that we have to do now is just move all the way to the north. Taking us to the right here. Fun fact, I do have a gaming laptop with a 3060 graphics card and it seems something about the 30 series and then 40 series later also, which makes the game run way, way better. I usually have like very stable 60 FPS here, but 
I, I gotta be honest, I don't like playing on my laptop here. I'm gonna have a proper PC here, <laughs> especially for the streams and everything. My microphone's all set up here, so I'm just gonna use that. But I think we'll be fine here for the time being. All right, here we go. Once again, as we can see here, we have the corner of the map, performance goes up. And I'm gonna take a very short break here and get off my car because it's time to invade the next mansion here. And we're also gonna go in the big firefight. For this, I'm gonna wait here at the tree. All right, try to headshot these guys. Ah, gotta reload, let's see. The fact that they already need more than one hatchback is scary enough. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Come on. There you go. Okay. Die. Yeah, these people, they're all under the influence of the Amok. <laughs> I have to say. And um, yeah, they definitely take quite a punch. But don't worry, there's one more big fella coming up later that's able to even give more of this. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is gonna move around the few plants. Oh my god, what am I doing? There we go. We're gonna reset quickly. This one, down one, down one, another one, down this one, up, and there we go. Now all plants are linked. This opens up this little chest here that we can open now, and we're gonna get another key, which gets us access to the actual... Ooh, can I please take the item? There we go. It can happen that you mash E too fast and you open and immediately close the drawer without taking out the key. It's a good little game. It's a good little game. I can recommend that. This game also features a little horde mode. I've not played it personally, um, but I haven't heard good things about it. Let's put it like this. The only cool thing is that they actually changed with recent updates is also they can select chapters, at least five different chapters in this game here. So if you want to practice at least that, it's gotten a little bit easier. But, alright, we got access now to the house, and we're gonna solve the next puzzle, and that is actually something that we need to listen to, so let's listen to the radio. Eight. Eight, nine. Eight, nine, three. Alright, that's the combination for a safe that we have upstairs. Eight, nine, three. Let's not forget that. I'm gonna go over this here. Statue looks very heavy. I guess it'll open once uh, I handle the password eight, on the radio. Nine. There we go. Good. In practice, I was messing that up often enough, and then sadly I had to go back down, listen to the radio again, and counting, okay, how many times do I have short or long signal? It's fairly simple how this code works, but you can very easily mess it up if you don't listen in for This rope might be useful. And indeed, this rope is useful because we're gonna put it here at the statue, which is very heavy. And we're gonna open up a path for us to leave this house. I don't know why we cannot leave the way that we got in. For some reason, we're gonna get out through the front door. And so I guess, let's just do it. I put the rope here on the door. We're gonna throw over the statue. And then the door will open. Let's just accept it. It's part of the game. Ah! Uh. Yay, there we go. Hopefully you can move past it. Sometimes the statue is literally in my way and I can't really move around it. This time we got lucky. And oh boy, look at it. What is it there? That is the servant of the strange lady. I don't wonder what he wants from us. This boy must be your servant. I don't care. I'm going to quickly reload because we're going to skip a little bit ahead. <laughs> but he will explain it anyway. Hurry, we're in a tight spot and I can't tell this to anybody. Can you tell me what's happening here? Please, don't ask questions and just get in the car. Oh, get in the oh, car! Alright, alright, we're getting in the car. So, where we're gonna go next is Chinatown, where this little lady has said she wants an abortion and we're not doing it, so... She took the matter into her own hands and went to someone else, and, well, let's put it in... She, How do I put this, really? Where is she? Healthcare is important and professional help goes a long way. I'm just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna take a nice little right here. I'm gonna once again make use of the map and the slowdown of the game time around us. We'll drive around here. We could go technically over the streets like normal, but I mean that's slow. We're gonna crash through these fences and literally drive on forward right through all of these houses here. Thankfully though, all the mud and the grass that doesn't slow us down at all. So we can literally just walk and drive all the way down here. Just gotta keep going. We're now a little bit parallel to the street. And I gotta go a little bit further. I gotta check, of course. I'm a bit early on the map. Alright, there you go. Nice. Didn't get stopped here at all. And now we're actually in the street. Just taking these shortcuts here, through and through, just saving a little bit more of time here. 
All right, so the next corner is once again one of the super tight spaces. We gotta go over the little bridge. And I hope I do not get stuck at all. Let's see, taking the turn it. Oh my God, I'm sliding. Ah, as it is, I didn't expect to slide like this. <laughs> Once again, stop the momentum. You can take this corner and through the bridge here, super tight and make it without any stops, but yeah, just today it didn't want to work. <laughs> all right, we're almost there. We're just gonna take one more turn to the right. And coming up is a nice little trick that I always like to do. Um, it's really really short we want to bump into a corner and have the back of the car hit actually the low trigger here so let's see if i can hit it like this and i think yeah I, I was too far to the left it's fine whatever if this would have worked we would have gone out of this cutscene a little bit early and would already be out of our car it's fine almost there would only have saved us maybe two seconds if at all oh yeah let's go we're in chinatown now time to go to the hospital Fish for sale. Once again, we have excellent exposition here of the voice acting that's in this game. Oysters have arrived just now. Oh, just now. Let's go. I want some oysters. <laughs> All right, no, it's a nice little production. Let's not talk bad about it. But Hello, sometimes hmm, there's some really nice gems in the audio. Speaking of gems, let's turn on the power. There's a little puzzle here, but it's super easy. We're going to go over to the third column. The first column and then the second and now power has been activated awesome super easy to remember and now it's time for another fight once again listen to this voice acting this next line is always a classic over there <laughs> all right over there he says ah mr head there slightly it's fine why do they have to move like this? Oh gosh, let me read off. One, two, three. There we go, nice. We've got most of that, We've got most of that. Oh my lord, what's happening? I really wouldn't want to be here. Oh no, there we go, there's the lady. to go to the hospital immediately. No. No. Well, I guess that's not working I out for her. Die. Let's focus on solving this next puzzle. The next puzzle can be solved by looking at the walls. As we can see here, there's a six with know. two underlines. That means the, the second digit is a six. The house. Then we have the four here. So we got a combination of four and six. And last but not least, we'll go around the corner. We're going to find out also the third digit on the ceiling, which is a zero. Zero is always awesome because that means we don't need to change anything. We just need to insert four and six in order to open this cabinet, which has the morphine in here. Ah, this medicine cabinet is locked. There we go. Good luck for the marathon here. Love to see it. I need to hurry. She's dying. Now we got the morphine. We can close the cabinet. And there we are. Now we can help the lady. Never mind. We're too late. <laughs> She's certainly already dead. So, oh, well. Once again, at least we got a zero in that combination. That always saves us a good chunk of time. So we only need to insert two of the digits. Alright, gonna quickly reload the checkpoint, and now in the story we're so far like, okay, this lady wanted an abortion, she did it at an obscure place, didn't go well, and now she's dead. Now there's a second doctor here, which noticed um, something was off here, and we're gonna be also like, hey, can you just fake the documents so nobody knows that she was pregnant? She and the doctor actually agrees, for some reason. And our character's like, well, okay, awesome to but the doctor's like, hey, you gotta leave town though. And we're like, yeah, I don't want to be here anyway. So we're just going to go home now. We have a nice little ticket for a little cruise. The cruise from the beginning. And we're just going to grab the ticket and go to a car. You mean, uh, am I crazy? Am, am I sick? We might as well walk around here. And uh, if you're wondering why this game looks the way it looks, I have set it to all the minimum settings in order to try to get as much performance out of it as I can. If you actually can play it on high settings, it does not look bad at all. It's actually quite charming. So, in defense of the game for once, um, it was me who set this, uh, all the options to super super low in hopes of getting a little bit more FPS out of it. I cannot stay here any longer. In this house, in this town, in this world, where everything reminds me of her. Yep, everything reminds me of her, so we gotta leave. Alright, so this is our house once again, we're gonna go in here. And we're gonna get the ticket. That's the ticket for a cruise here. Time to go to our car. 
with literally nothing on her person. And it's time to go into the car. All right, so what happens next? Um, the doctor that we talked to actually called the police on us. And so we reload the checkpoint here to skip this little cutscene. And now it's time for the car chase, which hopefully goes well. It takes around 90 seconds, but if you're just bumping once and slow down for a little bit, you're going to get shot immediately into the head and have to start over from the beginning. Five years though, we are playing on easy difficulty and you can do stuff like this where you're just driving over these stops and it doesn't damage the car at all. You can also drive like very far away from the intended route, which you cannot do at all on higher difficulties. So we're taking a few shortcuts here. Let's see. Do not get stopped here. Do not do not kill any civilians if you can. Like I think after three or so you get shot immediately as well. Just because you killed too many civilians. And if you kill any of the policemen, just one, you also get immediately shot. So it's like very strict. Alright, remember the little map trick that we have here? Get over. There we go. Okay. Just making it through. Normally we would go all the way to the left here in a long corner. There we go. Looks good. Do not hit any of these jeeps. They are notorious for uh, hitting your momentum and then of course you get killed. And now one last shot at Instead of going left, we're gonna go over to the right here. We're almost at the end. Do not bump here, please. Oh, oh god, please work. Please work. Okay, I think we're, I think we're good. Alright, this is the last corner. Alright, that's the car chase. <laughs> I'm not overdoing this for a bit. This is always the most exciting part of the run because you do not want to get stopped here at all. It sets you back all the way to the beginning. There's no checkpoints in between. <laughs> but it's time to get chased from the police here on the cemetery. So we gotta go away here. And as I explained in the beginning, we're playing on the latest patch. The latest patch does remove one of the skips that we have here, where normally we could walk out of bounds and skip one cutscene. We're going to see this cutscene for once here, and it's actually, I personally think, even more fun, especially for a marathon. If you're not seeing much of the story anyway, we got to see at least, uh, at least see this one cutscene. So let's go around here. Who's going to get chased here? Police is right behind us. And then we're going to go. And then around the next corner. You can also still see the tree here. This tree is actually um, used to be open, so we could walk around here and skip this little cutscene, but it looks like this. Oh no! A tree falls over! Uh, oh well. <laughs> oh yeah, also this big fellow is here. He's now gonna kill all of the police. And actually, this is the final boss of the game. And once again, voice acting on point. Such a gem. Ah, you will pay for that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Once again, this game night, is not master. good, good, but to me, it's fun, and I'm really honored to play this game here for you all at Indie Fun. So, thank you, everyone, for putting this, and of course, also Mary Gasolid into the marathon. Oops, uh, a little bit late on skipping this cutscene. It's fine, we're just gonna watch it anyway. <laughs> Do you recognize me, Doctor? Um, no. Terminate him. But I guess I'm gonna give him a few headshots. Ooh. And I'm gonna Where's watch out here. God now, weak lung. If you get distance away, he's gonna throw his little... I wanted to dodge that. That's fine. Hopefully I don't die here. Shot, shot. There we go. Now I skipped it. Let's go. You cannot escape. Actually, I want to turn around and get close to the exit soon because we're about to finish the fight. And a few headshots. Ooh. Ah, goddammit, I didn't see this. It's fine. You can dodge, 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 dodge. Ah. Oh my god, he has so much health right now. Come on, just... Okay, he really wants us to fight for a long time today. I don't know what's up. It's fine. There we go. Okay, well... Die. <laughs> oh, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, so we're on our way to the boat. We're getting close to the end. It's just a few more minutes, and I'm gonna try to skip this little edit cutscene here. Didn't get it. It's fine. If you look at the boat at the right time, you do not stop here. You still have the little vision cue, but you do not stop. It says it's like two seconds. In practice, I only got it like semi-regular, so yeah, it's fine that it didn't work this time. 
But yeah, as we're getting also closer to the end, uh, once again, big shout outs to everyone who runs this game. Uh, shout out to the Demented Salad who did the programming of the auto spitter for this game. Awesome work. Uh, shout outs to Game Deers, the developer of this game. And of course, Moist Critical for basically putting this game on so many people's radar. Uh, it's been a blast in the beginning of the year when we've been trying for the world record here and there's still a few people that play the game at least a little bit after the challenge has ended and so if you find this category interesting, it's a nice little quirky game and it's often on sale, I mean check it out, Amok Runner on SRDC.com. Now we're just gonna go over here, hit the next checkpoint, there you go, quick to reload. And now as I said in the beginning, remember what we've been wearing. There's no coat! Here, There's no hat! Where's our stuff? Her. Why is it gone? We literally sat down to tell a story. Apologies. When did we take our stuff off? Forgive I don't know. Me. This game is amazing and I rate it 10 uh, out of 10. I IGN. Uh, I have to go now. Uh, is Moist doing the challenges anymore? He is doing the challenges. I think we're now in the next month. We had Exodus from the Earth in February and I think we just started the next one. I have actually not looked into it yet. I was a little busy this weekend. But yeah, he's still doing the challenges. One every month. And um, there's lots of money you can win. Uh, $10,000 is the pool. I think it's like six for the first place, two and a half for the second, and then one and a half K for the third place. And also, if you find a very big glitch, you also get money. So it's always fun participating in this. Can definitely recommend. There's a specific Discord server for that specific Moist Critical channel. It's always used for the next game. So if you don't want to miss the next challenge, go, of course, to his YouTube channel and check it out there. <laughs> Two out of ten don't enough running. Yeah, you, you're definitely right. We're not running often. Especially in this old hospital where we gotta go around here. And this is all in the head of the protagonist now, and that's why we also think that this is a very unreliable narrator. You know, all that we've seen so far is like from his perspective, and I don't know if you can really trust him. For example, well, why is this uh, autopsy happening now here? And why does he take information from that? We don't know. We're just gonna accept that and move on. That he just imagined that, but he's gonna deal as if it would have actually happened. Was also there. He was going to England with a coffin. Yeah, he talks to himself now and thinks that this woman is going back to England, and then the autopsy will uh, find out. Oh, actually, this woman is uh, pregnant. Oh no, we cannot let that happen. Yeah, we're gonna quickly turn off this little gas leak here, and now we're gonna move over here. And for some reason, I cannot explain it. There's the coughing at the end of the stairs with the lady inside. And in order to prevent that anybody finds out that she was pregnant, we're going to push it into the ocean. And of course, what happens next? The only person that knew also that she was pregnant is us. So we're coming up for time. Time. The next thing we do is we're also going to jump into the ocean, removing all the evidences that this woman was ever pregnant. The woman's secret belongs to me. Hey. Only me. Only me. And that's hey, my Runner. Folks, thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you liked it. If you want to see me more... Uh, speed, sorry, let's do that again. If you want to see me do more speedruns like this or any other game in the Metal Gear Solid series, of course, as well, check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash house test. This was an honor to be here. And of course, I hope also it was not the last time. Have fun everyone with indie fun, And I'll see you all soon again, hopefully. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, House Test. And GG's on your run, my friend. It was a joy and an honor to have you here with us. Thank you. We will be moving into the intermission in just a little bit. But before that, I want to remind you, lovelies, of the fact that we still have the incentive for the Worms World Party Remastered going on, where you can name the team and choose the voice pack. Also, 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 before I leave, in between the upcoming worms, blah, 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 worms runs, terrible, sorry, <laughs> we have had the incredible honor to have had an interview with the charity, and we will be playing that in between the worms runs. So definitely do stay here to check that one out, my friends. In the meantime, House Test, thank you for being here. You lovelies, do stay awesome, stay hydrated, stay fresh, and I will speak to you again in just a little bit. Bye bye.